YouTube Wednesday. Mega Ghost. I have a five gallon bucket. In this five gallon bucket, I have used a hole saw to drill two holes right down here. The hole saw was th this big. Was that big? It doesn't matter, just as long as it's, you know, decent. Uh, and give yourself about a half inch from the bottom. And uh, if it's got like a lot of color on it or something, that's the side you drill on, because this is the back of my ghost. Back of the ghost, front of the ghost. Okay. So I'm going to use underlayment again. All right, and this is what I'm going to use for that main body of the ghost. Let's open this up. My whole goal with this right now is to make a trunk that will stand up on top of this bucket. The bucket will keep it stable. You can add weight to the bucket. Um, cut the tape off of this guy. I'm just going to go around the bucket a couple times. I think I'm going to need to go around this bucket three times maybe. Okay, that is three times around the bucket. I'm going to go one more, go four times around the bucket. Now I'm going to use the heat gun to glue this to itself. A little bit of heat and a press. Heat and press. Heat and press. I'm going to go right down the seam do that same thing. onto the ground to work on the top easier. Here on the top, I have several layers that are all together. I want to heat those and just combine them to give them a lot more strength. Uh, and you can just wear gloves when you do this. You don't have to do it with your bare hands. So now I have a tube o ghost. Uh, this is a boring ghost because he is, um, well, he has no arms, he has no head. And right now he's about four foot tall. So we're gonna make him five foot tall. We're gonna make him five foot tall and we're going to give them arms. Yeah. Let's do arms on our ghost. Arms on our ghost. Arms on our ghost. Don't know what I'm going to do about arms on our ghost. So I figure he's four foot tall. Uh, we could give him a four foot wingspan. You know, I think, uh, if, but if, if I cut it, because I want to have that middle section in there. But I think I'm just going to do one arm at a time, and that's how we're going to do it. But we have options. Uh, uh, this is one roll of this stuff. I think that this is enough for an arm. Let's do that. And I have folded it over here, and I'm cutting it at about 16 to 18 inches. If you would like, I can tell you exactly how much I cut in a moment.
17 inches. So that, that's how much I cut here. Because we're going to have ghosty sleeves with the hang down, and we're going to do a fun, gnarly cut. Uh, I am going to do both arms out of this. And then it's so easy to heat bond, I'll just heat bond another piece to it to attach to the ghost. So let me come to this edge, and I'm going to take off this plastic with the little self-adhesive strip because no one wants this. I don't want that. All right, fold it over. And this is just going to be the top of his arm. And now we're going to fold it in half. And this is how long each of his arms will be. He's a little shorter than me, and yet each arm is just about as long as my arm. That was a lot of math. Just watch it again slower. It's fine. That's how I do math. Slower. There's math. Uh, I'm just using a little razor knife for this. You could use something safer. I nicked myself with this earlier today. Cut myself with one on a live video. I have a sleeve. I don't just want, you know, like a straight arm ghost. So I also purchased this. This is not going to be used in the ghost. I'm just going to use it as a form. And we'll see how that works. This was $10. This is 12 foot perforated drain pipe. And it is bend a drain, it says right there. I'm just going to take my pipe. This is a four inch pipe. And now this is going to be my left arm. So this is my bell sleeve and this is my shoulder. So up here where it's on the shoulder, I'm going to heat it up and put it together close. I'm just going to work my way down here. And the upside is that this is, it's a type of insulation. So it's protecting my hand from the heat somewhat. Admittedly, I don't have a lot of feeling in my hands from other four choices I've made. Yeah. All right, so now I can put a little bit of a bend in the elbow. And I'll heat that. I'm locking that in place. This is my wrist. All right, and now advanced technique. I'm not gonna draw on it with a marker. I'm just gonna cut my spooky sleeve. Now have, this is my right arm. There we go. I want to make a, a shoulder piece for this that goes in between the two and connects my tube body here uh, to the arms. I'm going to start with a strip. I just want to double over. I want it to be about that wide. So let's cut that. That, this is a nice, it's a reinforced strip. It's two pieces of the, well, it's one piece folded over and I've attached it to itself. I'm gonna attach this to the shoulder over here uh, the same way with just some heat. This stuff is amazing in how it sticks together. I attach this at the wrong angle. I've got to turn this a little bit. I'm just going to cut it off and rotate it and then glue it back down with heat. Right now, the arms are attached. 
you have not put the head on. Now is the time to cut out a hole so that when we put the fogger in, fog will flow up and out the arms also. That will also let more light into the arms. So right now, go ahead and cut that armhole so that it's almost like a shirt. It's open, but the arm is still attached up here. So do that now, not try to do it later, like I did. It's hard. Again, I'm going to make this ghost out of one roll, which means he's about a $26 ghost. If you don't count the, uh, the bucket, maybe you have a bucket. I had a bucket. So, I use it. It's all I used. Like, this is it. This is my building material, and now I'm just building a ghost, okay? The, the gist is that we're making a ghost. That, that's what you guys have to have an understanding of. Um, and the techniques of how to put it together, details are up to you. Like, you can do this however you want, right? And I'm gonna cut a strip off that's probably 14 inches or so. This does not have to be precise. I will find the middle by the old hangle dangle method. I am heating an area, and I'm folding it over. And I'm using, I'm heating, and I'm folding. And this pinching and heating is gonna get me this head shape here in the back. Heat, push, and now that sticks. Heat, push, and now that sticks. plenty over here. Uh, this feels pretty good to me. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to patch in back here with this piece. Okay, see so how it's kind of making a hood now for him? I should be able to just heat this. And that hood curls up a little bit. Heat this edge, curls up and back. I'm going to let it do what it wants to do. And now I have kind of a hood here. But I'm not done. I want to do the back of the head and such. And I'm going to reinforce this. I'll probably do a couple layers on this. that again though that was useful and all these any strap with this kind of length hang on to it we can use that for decor later let's get us a four foot long 10 12 inch wide strip again I'm gonna transfer this I'll let this cool and then I'll transfer this to uh, see our hood now I'm going to marry the hood section to the arms and to the body. All right. All I needed that head form for was this shape. You want to use a bowl on a two by four? You can do that. Um, and I'm going to attach it probably right about here, so I don't have that big of a head. Here. I don't want a gap back here, but I have the basic outline of a little, this, what is this, five foot? It's a five foot ghosty. Everything that I'm doing now is just to reinforce the ghost. I want the arms to stay up to some degree, and I want uh, a more ratty look. If you look at his body, that is very smooth. We don't want that. 
So I'm going to put another sheet on top of that to make, make sure it has some texture. So uh, I'm going to prep that and get that done, and then uh, a few more reinforcing strips. And then I might even cut him up a little bit. But uh, let's do the back of the head. So all of everything you're going to see now, I'm going to, there's a little gap right here. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to reinforce uh, across the arms. I'm going to add tatter strips. Okay. This is just a long sheet of piece of the foam. This is left over from the same roll. So we're still in that $20 neighborhood, $25 neighborhood. Uh, one sheet of sheet from the same. I'm going to put this on the chest. Uh, I just want to give it some texture with the heat gun. Because what the heat gun does is it thins it out a little bit. It just makes it look nice. And I, I do want that ethereal look. I don't necessarily want this to uh, fold up on itself a lot, but I do want to get some creases in there. And you can see some of those creases showing up as I heat it. I don't want to let it curl up and fold over. I really like the stuff that happens behind the heat gun after you remove the heat gun. This has texture to it. This is not your standard piece now. Now I'm just cutting a tatter into it, down at the bottom. What I have decided is the bottom. And I have to be aware that it wants to curl this way, so when I put it on, I gotta tack these edges down. But I don't mind a little bit of curl because that's going to add a little bit of strength. So let me put a little bit of curl on this side. So I'm just heating the edge. So that's all that curls up, it's just that edge. Alright, and now here, I'm going to fold it. Let's cut a little bib into that. I just want to figure out what that edge is going to do when I heat it, and if I like it, I leave it. And this time it curled, you know, out onto itself, which is what I wanted. Now this piece, right here, see how that makes him much more of a character, gives him a little more depth. So far, I have about 40 minutes or so of video. That means that's all that this has this is taken. So I love how fast this material is. Make this as strong as you want because, you know, it's for you. Surprise! I'm about to attach these with heat. That is the gist of the ghost. I'm going to do a couple more things to him. In here, in here, I have a uh, black light, fire, and ice light that I got from Spirit. I'm going to put that inside of the bucket. I don't think that'll be too bright. I think that'll be just bright enough for the ghost that we do. Your second hole.
I have black spray paint. I want to hit the base of the bucket and I want to fade that up a little bit so that it kind of looks like he's floating. Now with the black, I'm going to go inside of the hood and a little bit of up shading on the rest of it. I'm going to hit it with a bit of teal blue. Just the same up shading that I did with the black. So, very important I want to show you this. You have plenty of clearance around the hole for the fog machine. And you don't want to rest the nozzle. That gets really hot. Don't rest it right up against there. Let it be backed off a little bit, and it's just going to shoot into that hole. You don't have a problem. I have a full inch of clearance here to where uh, it's not going to be a big deal, um, and it's not going to get too hot touching this. So give yourself some distance. Be safe with something that heats up like a fog machine. Yeah, so th this is, this, that's the ghost. It's just lit with a clamp light. And uh, why don't you go, you want to go step fully in front of it? Sure. In front of the, the light, there you go. So that's, that's its own light, its own, its own power. And uh, when she moves away, uh, you will see, because you can light it any way you want. So uh, this is a ghost. This is roughly a $30 build if you're not counting the light and the fog machine. So, make you one. Go make stuff.